Are you sure how to set up a live lesson in Microsoft Teams? No? Well then watch this video to find out how. Right, so I'm in uh, one of my teams here. It's for my media class, which is in the art department. Details are, as you can see, right here. And I'm in the general tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a meeting for this class. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna go to calendar. And then from calendar, I'm gonna go to Thursday's lesson. So I've created a few test classes here. You can see it disappeared there. So this is where I normally have that class, which so is in my Outlook calendar. This is represented here as a, as a blocked out period of time. So I want to set up a new meeting for that class. So let's just click new meeting, and then we're, we're good to go. So it's going to be a media uh, lesson, uh, Thursday block one. Okay, so put in your details there. Location, well, it's online, so I mean, that's not that important. Click on start date enter in your selected time so it's going to be the 13th of Feb for me and the lesson is actually going to be at 7 because I'm in Thailand which is one hour behind Shanghai and it's a test lesson because the first lesson I've ever done so I'm just going to put it on uh, it's the last 30 minutes and you can put your details in here and so on uh, now the channel I'm going to meet in is of course the media class and it's going to be in the general channel that everyone has access to. I'm also going to invite the legendary Mr. Reed, my co-teaching genius, and they're going to press schedule there. And Microsoft does some work behind the scenes. Thankfully we don't have to do anything else. Uh, you might have heard that we beep there. That's actually me logged into a student account because I wanted to see what does this look like from a student's point of view. I mean, as a teacher, when I set up a meeting for a class, do I have to like, email those students? Now, one of the ways you can kind of check it out is to check the general tab, and you can see that the meeting's there. Now, everyone in my class has access to that, but let's just double confirm, okay? So this is a uh, test student that was created. His name is Fry Fry, or Friday the Cat. He's not actually a cat, by the way, but anyway. So here is the class. So that notification did come through. Okay, so if I select that, I can actually just RSVP say, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll attend to that. that one. Okay, and then in the calendar, you can also see, this is the calendar in Teams for Friday the Cat, that they actually appeared in his calendar as well. So all is good, and I think the next step is just to teach your lesson. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up your first live lesson using MS Teams and Calendar. See you next time.